Oh, the, the blue shirt. <laughs> well, that looked weird. Hello, hello. Did you guys see how I disappeared? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I am doing good. Thank you very much. How about yourself? Thank you. I am good, teacher. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic to hear that. Give me one second. <sighs> Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Day number two. Day numero dos. Day number two. How's everybody feeling today? Fine. All right. Nice to Thank hear. You. I will accept fine. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Hello, Guille, Maria, Ivan, Diana, Paco, Paco, good to see you, Karen, Glenda, Cindy, how's it going, how's it going, how's it going, hello, hello. Everything's going okay. That is fantastic to hear. All right, we're gonna start day two with just normal conversations. And then we're gonna go into our platform and then we're gonna take our work from the platform for today. Okayo, welcome aboard. Roberto. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good Anyone? evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, something that they did advise me to ask you guys, and I think it has to do con los videos. Uh, no sé si ustedes se han percatado que subimos los videos a YouTube, and then you can come back and you can review the videos on YouTube. They have asked for videos. So... If you can, and it doesn't affect your interaction, I am going to ask you to please put your camera on, if you can. Now, I know that in some devices, when you put the audio and the camera, then they start, they stop working. And if you or if you are experiencing that, then it's okay. Don't don't put the camera on unless it's absolutely necessary, and then just leave your audio. But if you can put the video and the audio, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to please put them on. Um, they asked me yesterday. They asked me yesterday if we can have the audios on. I'm sorry, the the audios and the video, unless you were you were really suffering from technical issues so all right welcome welcome and i believe there's different uh different classes they don't they'll, they'll ask you for the cameras um i think in the previous two classes um uh, the audio and the interactions uh, that that was enough but I think that with these modules, they started to ask for cameras. So um, sorry about that. All right, welcome aboard, welcome aboard everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard. A ver. Esa es una noticia 911, verdad? The camera's on. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. As a class, ¿verdad? muchas gracias. Okay, hoy sí vamos a iniciar. We're going to start by sharing my screen, and I'm going to start off with that. And let me go ahead and share with you.
I want to share everything. I, I, I don't have anything to hide. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by sharing. And as you guys can see, here is our main tool, Inglés Corporativo. This is the main page, nuestra plataforma de trabajo. And so uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to start here. ¿Cómo les ha ido con la plataforma? How, how is it going with the platform? Have you guys experienced any issues? Have you guys had any problems with either the app or the web page? O les ha estado funcionando super bien? In my side for the first lesson is okay. Okay, okay, good, good. Now, remember that, see, see? Okay, eh, a ver, eh, creo que alguien estaba compartiendo, not really too sure. Eh, si me hace el favor, lo puede poner también en el chat por si en, por si en caso, ¿verdad? Eh, a ver, les estaba comentando that we did change a little bit. There was some changes on here because now you guys cannot see the sections and the modules individually. You have to go in yourself and then go one at a time, section and module by module. Okay. Before that, I wanted to bring up the upcoming dates because it says February 23rd, which is the ending course. And it usually ends about five to 10 days before. So I am thinking, I, I haven't confirmed it. I can confirm it to, uh, today and then give it to you guys tomorrow. More than likely, this date is for the admins. But the actual section or the module will be completed on February 10th or 13th. So it's right around that date. So, ojo, ojo. Um, me imagino que debe ser como el 13, February 13th. Um, I will tell you guys in WhatsApp, and I will confirm in WhatsApp. But I just want you guys to be updated on that one. So section number one, and that's where we're going to start. That's where we're going to begin. And that's how we are going to carry out our work. Um, I usually have presentations. And within the presentations, we start to work it out. However, uh, with this module, what we're going to do is we're going to implement a little bit more practice, right? And so in order for us to do that, I'm going to try to cut back on the presentations unless we absolutely need it. And we're going to work more on just practicing the conversation portion. Okay. And so I wanted to go back into the platform and to the section and kind of give you guys a quick overview because this is the first thing that we're going to go into. The first lesson objective talks about uh, our passive voice. Y si ustedes pueden ver, en esta clase los participantes serán expuestos por primera vez a la voz pasiva usando by, right? And then, so that's where we begin. There is a video that you guys get to watch. I believe the video is very short. It's about maybe two minutes long. And then it talks about passive or your voice being passive and it does an explanation of how it's it's done how many of you guys watch the video for passive voice using by how many of you guys had a chance to look at it no not yet all right okay so the idea is for you guys to work the platform do as much as you can on the platform and then we come back and then we kind of do like a little review and then based on what you guys have seen uh, yo diría que tal vez no es un review sino que it's more like a 
reinforcement de las cosas que ustedes ya vieron o van a comenzar a ver. So we're going to start off with a passive voice using by. Y para eso, pues la explicación, ¿verdad? Vamos a ocupar algo que a mí me gusta usar mucho, que se llama Life Worksheets. No sé si ustedes ya lo han ocupado anteriormente. A ver, se los voy a poner aquí en el chat. So that you guys can also have a chance to use it. Se llama Life Worksheets. Dot com. Así, lifeworksheets.com. Lo puse ahí en el chat. También se los voy a poner en el WhatsApp. And it's fantastic because what you do is you come into this website and whatever you want to learn, all you have to do is type it in. For example, if you want to learn about adjectives, you type it in, you click search, and you get worksheets and it's a lot of worksheets now the good thing about this is that you don't get the answers you have to work you have to work on the worksheets um i still haven't figured out how to get the, the answers right someday i'm going to figure it out i think and so what you do is you actually go into it and depending on what you want to do you work it and then you submit the sheets and then they tell you if you're right or wrong and it's a great way i would say for you guys to practice right so this is what we're going to be using we're going to give it a quick twist because what i want is for us to practice and so i'm going to ask you guys for volunteers to read this for me and then we're going to take turns reading and then see how that turns out all right Remember that what we're looking at is passive voice, the passive voice. And in this particular case, based on the module, we are using, or in the module, they used the added word by. And then, so we're, I'm going to explain to you guys how that works. Okay. All right. So with passive voice, we have an active and we have a passive, right? El activo y el pasivo. And so the active portion is a little bit more upfront, right? And it does a quick explanation of how that works. So here on this worksheet, it explains to us how it works. So the active version starts off with the subject. In this particular case, the subject is the student the students and then we incorporate the verb which is clean and the object is the classroom and the sentence the complete sentence reads out the students clean the classroom a ver esa is the active portion of my voice that is an active voice the students is the subject, and that is the loudest. The students clean the classroom. Okay? Now, we switch it around because the students are going to be switched to the end. The verb is going to become a past participle. We are going to be adding the word be, and the object changes to the subject. So what we did is we completely turned it around. And what happens is it goes from active to passive. Now you have the classroom is cleaned by the students. The classroom is cleaned by the students. And that right there is the passive voice. How are we doing? You guys have any questions or, or, or did, did I confuse you? Is it a little bit confusing? Teacher, mm, no sé, no estoy muy seguro. Okay, vamos a practicar un poco más acerca de esto. It gets easy 
but it also could get a little complicated depending on what you want to say. So there is the form to be, and this is present simple, which means that we're only using is and are. Bees produce honey. Honey is produced by bees. We have the active and we have the passive. Ants make anthills. Anthills are made by ants. Estamos bien hasta acá. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan? Now, if you guys ever see something like this on a sentence, it is not wrong. But you also have to look at how the phrase has been written. Because in order to make sense and for a sentence to have logic, and in order for us to incorporate something like anthills are made by ants, we are going to have to look at the big picture of what is being said. All right? All right. So who wants to help me out? Who wants to volunteer for number two? And I need you to just read the first portion here. Voluntarios. I'm going to be the first one. Oh, fantastic. Let's go. Is that you, Mario? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, fantastic. Let's start. So this one that we're doing, Mario, this is present continuous, which means that we're going to use is being and are being. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. Start with we. We are fulfilling fill, fill, fill the task. Okay. And the task is being fulfilled. Oh, you got it. You almost got that one. Okay, so let's work on this one. This one is fulfilling. 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 But you fulfilling have to task. say it. You have to say it. De una sola vez. Right now we're splitting it so that you guys can hear the full and then filling, full filling. But when you guys are actually saying it, it should sound like this. We are fulfilling the task. The task is being fulfilled. De una sola vez. Son dos palabras, pero we're, we're, when we sound them out, la estamos convirtiendo en una, fulfill. So, fulfilling and fulfilled. Fulfilled. There we go. Okay. All right, Mario, help me out with the second one. They, they are exploring new areas. New areas. New areas are being explored. There we go. Now, with this one, exploring, you got right. Explored Indeed. is the second word. So explored. 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 There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we're going back up. Who wants to help me with number one, which is bees? Voluntario, voluntarios. Bees. Ah, bees. Okay. Bees produce honey. Honey is produced by bees. There you go. Yeah. Ants make antils. Antils are made by ants. Okay, great. Now, this one here is ant hills. Uh, ant hills. Ant hills. So now, now, because it is one word, you don't say ant hills. Hills, sino um, que lo decís todo junto, and hills. And hills. And hills. There you go. You got it. And hills. All right. And good. Hills. And hills. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are going to jump to number three, which is past simple, was and were. Who wants to help me out with these two? Voluntarios, 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 voluntarios. Yo, teacher. All right, there, there we go, there we go. Number three. Number three. Number three, and then someone. Okay, someone broke the window yesterday. 
The window was broken yesterday. There we go. All right, let's go with the second one, which is someone again. Someone unleashed the dogs. The dogs were unleashed. Okay, all right. Oh, look at I think there's a misspell there. Unleashed, right? Someone broke the window yesterday. A little bit faster, right? Someone broke the window yesterday. Someone broke the window yesterday. A little, a little bit of a song, a little bit of a rhyme. Someone broke the window yesterday. Yesterday. The window was broken yesterday. When was it broken? Yesterday. Yesterday. There you go. You guys got it. Someone unleashed the dogs. The dogs were unleashed. Someone unleashed the dogs. The dogs were unleashed. What is Are, mean unleashed? Uh, la correita que traen. Yesterday. What, what do you what do you call that? Esa correa que usan los collar. El collar, solo el collar. I think I think it might have it might have different names. El collar. Pónganle cuando cuando dicen ponele ponele el collar al chucho. No, ah, pues collar. Okay. All right. We'll we'll do that. Collar leashed. Okay. We're gonna jump to number four. Past continuous was being and were being. Who wants to who wants to help out? Is that Paco? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, Roberto. Okay. Roberto, dale. Uh, they were praising the girl. The girl was being praised. Uh, next, uh, they were talking pictures. Picture were being taken. There we go, right? They were praising the girl. The girl was being praised. Praised is uh, dándole... Elogio. Elogio, right. There you go, yeah. Um, positive comments. Uh, what a great job. Oh, my God, you were wonderful. Uh, you were fantastic. You know, all of those things that are positive. That's what's going on here. They were taking pictures. Pictures were being taken. All right. Okay. Where? They were taking pictures. Pictures were being taken. Pictures. So, remember, Picture. we're doing active voice and we're converting the active voice into passive voice. And what's happening here is that we are changing the point of focus in the sentence. What is the focus, the bees, right? If we go back to number one, who, who produces the honey? The bees, right? But when we make it passive, what is it that the bees do? Produce. What honey. do they produce? Honey. There we go. So if you want to look at it this way, we are changing the importance. Who is important here? The bees. The bees are what we want to focus on, and the bees are the important point. But when we make it a passive, what happens is we change the level of importance, and it goes from the bees to the honey. Honey is produced by bees. So the most important word here is honey. And so what do you have to look? Well, you look for these two words here in the middle, right? As you guys can see, we still have produce, but we are adding something extra like is or are. And that changes the meaning of what we want to say. 
Okay. So we go from bees being the most important item to the honey being the most important item. When you guys talk to somebody, these are the things that you have to look for in trying to share your ideas. What is the most important portion of my message? Because if it's the bees, then I want to start off with that. But that means that you're using your active voice. You want them to hear bees as the most important portion of that. If you are using your passive voice, then what you want to do is you want to talk about what it is that the honeys make. I'm sorry, that the bees make, which in this case, honey, right? And so that's how you start. Honey is produced by the bees. The most important item here, honey. And the secondary is the bees. So let's not talk about the bees. Let's talk about the honey, how delicious it is, right? And so think of it that way. Whenever you guys hear about active voice or passive voice. Now, in the video, by was being used a lot because that was the focus of the video. So it was passive, but they also incorporated the word by. Honey is produced by bees. Ant hills are made by ants. What else can we say and use by? What else can you guys think of? Can you guys, if you guys want, you guys can put them in the chat. So let's look at the chat. Let's see. Um, I am going to say bird, bird nests are made by, que mas, verdad? Birds. Bird nests are made by birds. What else can we, what else can we put? What else can you guys think of? Well, it would actually, Paco, it would be tortillas are made, well, you know, how can we do that? Pupusas are made by pupuseras. Oh, I mean, you got, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But tortillas are made by corn. Now, uh, yeah, I think we could use it now. I, I, You know, some people might fight that, though, Paco, okay. because tortillas are made with corn, but somebody has to make them. So I would say that maybe yeah. a machine or una tortillera, right? We could use that. Uh, tortillas are made by tortilleras. Pupusas are made by pupuseras. Um, right. What else? Chicha is made by? No, no, yeah. verdad, no. Chicha, <laughs> by chicha, <laughs> by, by los chicha. All right. Well, that, that's good. I'll accept those. All right. All right, guys. Okay. So this is the first life worksheet here. And now we come into some more. You see how here we start looking at more worksheets. And look at the first one. The dragon has scorched the village with his fiery breath. How can we change that? And look, you get options. You have is scorched has been scorched or was scorched and so you have to think if this is the active how can we make it passive the village is scorched by dragon's fiery breath how does that sound was scorched oh let's see Okay, let's see. The dragon has scorched the village with his fiery breath. The village was scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. How does that sound? Was scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. You guys like that? All right, do me a favor, Paco. 
can you please read the first option, which is active? This is the active voice. The dragon has scorched the village with his fairy breath. Fiery, fiery. Fiery. There we go, you got it, Paco. Fiery breath, got it. Okay. All right, do me the favor and now read it in the passive voice. Okay, can I see the options? I mean... Well, right now, yeah, right now with the one that we have. Okay, the village was scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. Oh, you got it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Paco. Thank you very much. Okay, we're, we're going. Here we go. Whenever you guys see this word here, in Spanish, Europa, right? In English, you don't sound out the E. You start off with the U. So this one, when you sound it out, it should sound like Europe, Europe, European, Europe. And so we start with Europe produces a lot of cars. A lot of cars and will be produced, are produced, or were produced in Europe. What are sounds produced. are produced? Somebody said are produced. A ver. Who can help me read these two? Volunteers. Volunteers. A lot of a lot of cars are produced in Europe. Okay. A lot of cars are produced in Europe. Okay. Gracias, Glenda. Do me a favor. Can you please read the first sentence as well? Europe produces a lot of cars. You got it. There we go. Europe produces a lot of cars. Okay. A lot. Here, whenever you guys see it like this, you have a big A and then lot. Some people will say A, a lot of cars. But you can also say a lot. So either way, it's okay. You can say A or you can say A. A lot of cars are produced in Europe. Or you can also say a lot of cars are produced in Europe. La dos maneras, it's totally okay to pronounce and to say it and to voice it out that way, okay? We're going to number three. Someone, someone who can help me has, out? Who's, who's, someone who's helping? has stole my apples. Oh, there we go. Someone has stolen my someone. apples. Un exclamation ahí va. Quiere decir que estoy enojado. Yes. I'm, I'm angry. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. A ver. So now, Karen, how can we make that passive? My apples have been stolen. My apples has been stolen. Or my apples were stolen. What sounds better? We're stolen. We're stolen. Okay, let's put that one there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave it right there, and I'm gonna show you guys how these live sheets work. So we have was scorched, we have are produced, and we have were stolen. And then so we're gonna scroll down a little bit, and you look for a button that says finish, and you click finish. And then it tells you, check my answers. You're going to click check my answer. And of course, these we did not complete. So those are wrong. And yes, yes. Uh, excuse me. Um, but with the first one and the third one, mm -hmm. uh, I think that the sentence is with the present perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. We can we can change them up because the life worksheet has told us that these are both wrong. So the village was scorched by the by the dragon's fiery breath comes up as wrong. 
a lot of cars are produced in Europe. That one is correct. And then we have my apples were stolen. So let's let's switch it up. Let me go ahead and refresh the page. Okay. All right, Guy. So we already used was scorched. That means that we have to change it. Yeah, I think that we can use has been scorched. Has been scorched, okay. The village has been scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. How does that sound? Uh, you want me to repeat that? Yeah, please do it. Uh, okay. The village has been scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. All right. And so we know that number two was our produced, right? I think that's that's what we had. And then number three, we needed to change. We had put were stolen. We need I to change this one. I think that is uh, half because the apples are 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 pure. Plural. You Someone has stolen my apples. My apples have been stolen. All right, let's try it like that. A ver, a ver, a ver. Let's go back down. Sorry, guys, my scroller is upside down. Man, we're going to click finish. And there you go. All right. So, the dragon has scorched the village with his fiery breath, is the active. And the village has been scorched by the dragon's fiery breath. Number two, are produced in Europe, or a lot of cars are produced in Europe, was correct. And my apples have been stolen, is the correct answer for this one. And this is the life worksheets. You guys are welcome to go in here. And as you guys can see, there's a lot that you guys can go through. We're going to switch it over and we're going to go into one other one and see how these can work. And let's try it one more time. A letter to Aunt Molly a few hours ago, and then there's a blank. And you get to choose from these three options which one is the correct passive voice that we can use. I have, has been sent, is sent, or was sent. A letter to Aunt Molly, blank, a few hours ago. What do you guys think is the correct? It's sent. Has sent. Was sent or has been sent? Was sent, I believe. Was sent. All right, let's try that one. I think somebody else had mentioned has been sent. In case this is wrong, we can go back and try it. So no worries. Okay. Grandpa blank by his grandson, Brian is often helped, is often helping, or often is helped. Claro que sí, claro que sí. A ver, vamos aquí. ¿Qué tal así? Is that better? No. No. <laughs> no veo. Really? A ver, maybe I can, let me go ahead and move it across. Hold on, hold on. Let me make it. I think I can make it a little bit bigger. Hold on, vamos. Ahí sí veo. Ahí sí. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it. Okay. We're only going to do a couple of these, but I want you guys to see the live worksheets, and I want you guys to know that you guys are welcome to go in here and practice on your own. All right, so Grandpa... Blank by his grandson, Brian. A, B, or C? What do you guys think? Maybe. B. Grandpa is often helping by his grandson, Brian. You know, the helping doesn't fit. It 
doesn't sound. It's often helped. It's often helped by his grandson, Brian. You know, that one sounds a little bit better. Grandpa is often helped by his grandson, Brian. All right. Number three, and then we'll check. The car blank this afternoon. C. C. The car is washed this afternoon. No. C. No. Will be washed. Will be washed. All right. The car will be washed this afternoon. Well, those sound pretty close. Uh, let's see. Let's try it out. Let's see. Click the finish. And we got it. All right. There we go. Well done, everybody. Well done. Okay. Please keep in mind that you have an active voice and you have that passive voice. Active voice will create and make the subject the most important portion of that phrase. And a passive voice will actually turn it around and will put the most important portion, well, you, you wanna say that it, it goes to the front, right? And it takes the object and it converts it to the subject, which is the most important portion. And then it converts the subject into you know, the object, or in this particular case, the agent, because this is, this becomes secondary, okay? The classroom is cleaned by the students. And then, so this portion gets incorporated. And this, this is what you guys will see. Active voice versus your passive voice. All right? Okay, do you guys have any questions? And the video, the video that you guys see, or the, the video that you guys will see, talks exactly about that. How can I make my voice passive and incorporate the word by? And then it teaches you how to do that as well. So my recommendation is the platform and try to complete it and try to listen to it and if you can, try to do the exercises. Okay, we're going to switch over a little bit. And we're going to go to O. The O sound. Now, with the O sound, this one has many forms of you saying it. And for that, I have a whole bunch of words for you guys. Okay. If there is a word that you guys have never heard of, please let me know and then we'll look it up. And then that way I can also show you on the internet where you guys or how you guys can look up words that you see every day. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna ask you guys to repeat after me and you can do it with your microphone on or your microphone off. So you can, you can remove the mute if you'd like. If you want to sound it out, let me know. And then that way we can repeat it and we can help you with the pronunciation. Okay. All right. We're going to start off. You guys ready? Everybody ready? Yes. All right. Vocabulary. And this is the O. We're going to start off with obedient. 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 Okay. We're moving to object. 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 Okay. We're going to objective. 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 There we go. Objective. Objective. Okay. Objective. 
objectively. Well, this one, objectively. this one, this one is a little bit hard to pronounce. Let's see. Let's let's bring this one up. And so for this one, I don't know if you guys have ever used. There's this tool called Lingui. Have you guys ever used this one? It's really good. And what I like to do, objectively, objectively. A ver. Vamos a poner, oh, give me one second. I think it, there it is. Object. Let me see what comes up. Object. If. Let me see if we get just objectively. And here it is. Objetivamente. And then objectively. A ver, follow me. Objectively. 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 There you go. You got it. Yeah, objectively. Okay. We're moving. We're going to obligate it. Obligated. 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 Okay. Obligation. 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 Obscure. 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 There you go. You got it. You got it. Obscure. O occur. 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 Okay. Occurred. Occurred. Right. So when so this one, this one, uh, you know, you have to, you have to think about just adding the ed. So occur, occurred, and then occurrence. 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 There we go. Occurrence. Occurrence. Ocean. 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 You, yeah, we got that one. Ocean. Okay. Ocean. O October. 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 Okay. Oddly. 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 Oddly enough, dice la gente. Oddly. 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 Okay. Offense. Oddly. Offense. This one can also be pronounced offense. Offense, offense or offense. 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 Okay, now offense is que yo ofendí a alguien. Right? That is an offense. Me acabas de ofender. Tenemos que pelear hasta la muerte. Or you can say offense que significa que tú estás tomando la iniciativa y estás atacando. Right? En fútbol americano se ocupa bastante como offense and defense. Defense están defendiéndose y offense está atacando. Entonces, así se puede ocupar o así lo van a escuchar ustedes. Ok. Vamos con Olive. 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 Olympiad. Olympia. Olympic. Olympic. Ongoing. Ongoing. Online. 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 On screen. On screen. Onslaught. 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 All right. So now this is only the beginning because we have a whole bunch more. You guys see all of those? Let me make them a little bit bigger. So the idea is as follows. We go through vocabulary so that you guys don't repeat when you're having a conversation with somebody, when somebody asks you a question. The idea is to have enough vocabulary so that you formulate a sentence without repeating the different items in the same sentence. 
the more or the bigger your vocabulary, the better it is for communication. And as you guys can see, there is a lot of words, okay? So uh, with this one, I think we can use a couple more. Uh, we did a few here. Let me see, we did, okay, we can go over it here. If you guys can follow me in pronunciation and try to keep up. Vamos, con todo. Obscure. 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 Okay. Observation. 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 You guys got it. Observatory. Observatory. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going up to the observatory. Observatory. What are you gonna do? I am going to observe. Aquí está, observe. 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 What are you going to observe? The planets. Because that's what you do in an observatory. I am going to observe the planets. Oh, don't do that. Observatories are obsolete. 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 Absolutely. 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 Obstacle. Obstacle. Hey, you guys got that one. Obstacle, yeah. Ob Obstacle. Obtain. 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 Oh, it's so obvious. 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 Obviously. Obviously. Obvio, el famoso obvio, obvio, right? Obviously. Occasion. Occasional. Okay. Occasional. Occasional. Occasionally. 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 All right, all right. I heard, I heard a couple that said it right. Okay. Occupation. Okay. 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 With this one, whenever you guys hear the T I O N sound, occupation, right? You wanna you wanna sound it out like if it's an S H occupation. 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 There occupation. you go. You got it. Occupation. 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 Occupy. 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 Aquí está otra vez, va. Occur. 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 Occurred. 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 There we go. Occurrence. 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 All right. Now, we went through some of these already, right? Real fast. Ocean. 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 October. 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 Oddly. 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 Offense. Offense. Offensive. Offensive. Offer. 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 Office. Office. Officer. Officer. Official. Official. Officially. Officially. Offline. Offline. Offset. Offset. Offshoot. Offshoot. Offshore. Offshore. Okay. 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 Older. Older. Oldest. Oldest. All right. Now there is a lot more. Dun, 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 dun. All right. The more vocabulary you have in your pockets, the better it is for you in a conversation. Okay? So we're going to keep adding these words to our list of words, and we're going to try to practice some of these as much as we can throughout the class. Okay? All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, passive with by, we're going back to our website 
and this is 1.1 and what you do is you watch the video and then once you have watched the video you move ahead and you come to the knowledge check and here they are and so you're gonna answer the knowledge check based on what you hear on the video okay if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask in what's up and tomorrow we're gonna review the knowledge check and we're gonna keep moving along in the lesson plan and we're gonna go one by one until we go to pronunciation and hopefully we can get all the way to need some more information which is conversation is everybody okay do you guys have any questions what are we going to consider tomorrow we are going to begin with one with the knowledge the knowledge check here okay 1.2 if you guys finish the knowledge check, perfect. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna review. I'm gonna complete this. Mm -hmm. And I also wanna work with you guys in case you guys didn't do it, right? And then we're gonna do the answers uh, in class. And then once we complete this, we're gonna, we're gonna move over to our pronunciation. And hopefully, hopefully we can get all the way up to 1.6, which is conversation again, okay? Okay. Yo una pregunta. Sí, sí, claro. Eh, el WhatsApp ya se hizo porque yo no estoy en, en ese grupo. Oh, ok. Um, fíjese que creo que tiene que ser... ¿Sabe qué? Le voy a mandar un correo. Bueno, a ver, ¿cómo le podemos hacer? Le puedo... Le podía poner... A ver, si me permite, unos segunditos. Le voy a poner acá mi número. Y usted me manda un mensaje en WhatsApp y luego yo su número se lo voy a mandar a la admin para que me la agregue, ¿sí? A ver, okay. aquí está. Phone number here. O, o hagamos una cosa, ¿me puede pasar usted su número por aquí, por el, por el chat? Sí, ahorita. Ok. Ok, ladies and gentlemen, eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué les parecieron los live worksheets? Vamos a tratar de incorporar un poquito más para las conversaciones y tengo dos role plays para ustedes mañana, así que les voy a pedir que, me, que, que, que se voluntaren. Um, I'm going to be asking for volunteers and I want to do, you know, the role play and hopefully we can do the role play throughout the class, right? Uh, take as much time doing the role play as we can. All right. Um, Thank you very much for coming in today. I want to let you go. I'm going to give you a minute back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you? Have a good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.